Welcome to another Photoshop Basics and today we're going to be looking at more creative uses of both the tools combined with adjustments. So we did uh, contrast, having a look at layers and, um, and the curves and levels layers and now we're going to move away from that and start something new. So this was lesson two and today we're going to be looking at the hue saturation adjustment layer combined with magic wand to really change uh, the kind of the color of your photograph. So obviously the hue saturation is kind of self-explanatory, it changes the hues or color in your image and you do that by sliding a thing and you can also adjust the saturation of the um, image as well and saturation is obviously the level of color so you can have a desaturated image which is pretty much black and white or a very very saturated image where the colors are very rich and uh, sometimes overpowering. So let's flip over to Photoshop and get the ball rolling. I've already done some work on this image to begin with. Um, I've already kind of set this up so that it's ready to just um, kind of show what I did. But again, we're with this image uh, which was taken in China, which I've used for the last two tutorials. And let's um, explain what we did. So here we have our hue saturation layer, and this is the kind of thing you'll be looking at when you get one. Uh, so you have the hue, and there you can see the uh, spectrum of colors there running through red, orange, yellow, green, um, all the way through to violet and back to red. And so obviously if you slide that underneath green, the hues will change to green, is pretty self-explanatory this. Saturation, um, you get a more saturated image. Um, the colors go up, the further up you go, as you can see, it becomes more vibrant or they become more gray as you come down here. And lightness, I don't really bother with this because um, it's, if I'm gonna change the lightness of the image, I'm gonna use a more dedicated tool to do so. Another reason you can't see anything um, when I drag these sliders around happening to the image is because uh, the hue saturation layer is turned off at the moment. Now it's on, now it's off, as is this layer one here, that's also off. So we're just looking at the background at the moment. Now what I've done um, to do this, um, for this little um, tutorial, we're going to get a bit more advanced now. Uh, so it's stepping up a level from basic. Uh, just to give you more like, an idea of what Photoshop is capable of rather than just playing around with histograms and a, and a graph. So I've used the magic wand tool for this and this is um, a really good tool for making selections especially when you have um, specific selections that you want to make and it's located here in the uh, tool palette there we go, magic wand, it's also in with the quick selection tool but I've chosen magic wand and I'll explain why. Uh, so what I've done for this image is um, Let's imagine that I've taken this image in China, which I have, and the coloured squares on all of the apartment blocks, they're a nice peach colour. Let's say I'm not really happy with them being in a peach colour. Let's say I think they look better if they were blue, or, or maybe red, because you know, red is more associated with China. So let's make them red. So to do that, I need to go around and select every single square, um, and doing so, um, well it's going to take a fair bit of time, it took me about five minutes to do all of them um, but the good thing about the magic wand tool is we have a thing up here which is called tolerance now tolerance kind of tells Photoshop how far of a, how wide you want to go from the thing you clicked on so if you've got a really wide tolerance it's going to select in quite a lot but if you dial that tolerance down like I have done to 10 it's going to say we want a quite narrow tolerance, so only select things that are very 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 similar to what we've clicked on. And I'll go ahead and hopefully show you an example of this work. So let's select a tolerance of 100, which is quite a wide tolerance. And now let's click on this um, square here. And you can see it's selected quite a lot. Oh, it's selected pretty much the whole image all around here because the tolerance is so wide. And it obviously it's quite a flat image and it's very gray. And it thinks, and um, obviously these colors in here are in the 100 tolerance range of what I've just clicked on. So let's deselect that. And let's dial the tolerance down to back to 10, which is obviously a lot smaller tolerance. And now let's click on the square and see what happens. Now we just get that square because obviously it's a lot smaller tolerance, so it's only going to select things that are like what I've just clicked on. So it's only going to note it's going to see that oh we this is white, so obviously that's not anything like this peachy colour we've got here. 
And that's what I've done on layer one. Layer one is all the selections of this. So I selected all of them, then I inverted the selection so that we're only affecting the squares when we make our hue adjustment. So let's put layer one back in. And that's the, um, you obviously won't see it because it's a layer. So there's no marching ants, but I have selected that. And we can see that there. By, if I remove the background, we can see that all the squares um, are now gone. And we can see we're left with little lines. So it's quite a neat, quite a well done selection. So let's go and put in our hue saturation level. Uh, and then let's just change the hue and let's see what happens. So I want them red. they have one blue there because obviously they weren't white to begin with. Um, so that's how you, that's it, that's pretty much it. So I can fiddle around, purple, um, and that's more of a reddy color. So let's say that's what I'm happy with. So if we just show that, that's what they were to begin with, and that's what they are now. So again, they're more looking like the buildings around them. And that was all done just with the magic wand tool and um, this hue saturation layer here. So it is really, really simple to completely change the look and feel of your image. And obviously, photographers, if they're not happy with something, um, can do this a lot and very, very easily. So that's just how easy it is to change the look. And you know, if I showed this to somebody, they would be none the wiser. You know, they'd think, oh yeah, they 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 look turquoise. You know, <laughs> how would they know any better? So this is kind of very been a quick 10 minute thing, um, as normal, uh, lesson two. And um, I'm going to be continuing the theme of more creativity and looking at more adjustments and how you can mix these with uh, the tools that we have available in Photoshop. And hopefully that will expand uh, and help you develop what, you, what you're learning to do in Photoshop if you're new to the program. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, you can find me on Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, I'll put links to my pages down in the description below. Uh, please subscribe to this channel uh, for more um, hints and tips. I film Photoshop Basics every Thursday. Uh, I upload them every Thursday. Mm, it was Friday, it's now Thursday. And I also put up videos, you know, as, as well. <laughs> Random intervals of other things to do as well. So thank you very much for watching, um, and yeah, subscribe, follow, and do whatever you do on the internet. Thank you.